Hi, I'm Wilson. So today, let's move on making videos about CE1. And in this video, I'm gonna say something about the audio interface. And this is a four in, four out audio interface. So let's take a little more close look at uh, connections. And uh, here is the in one, in two. So in one is L and in two is R. And in three, in four, and out three, out four. So out one, out two. So the one and two out actually only in the XLR output and for the input uh, TRS and XLR. Also, it can automatically select the signal chain. We do the guitar special signal processing or the microphone processing. And we can get clear view from this screen. Okay, let's turn on it and see it more clearly. And also in this video, I'm gonna show three basic software and all of them are the guitar effects software and the very top level, very, very good sound. So now let's look at this small screen and uh, it's all about the audio interface. And uh, here is all about uh, input. So this is input one and this is input two, input three, input four, and output three, output four. And this is for the direct bypass from one, so one and two bypass and uh, three and four bypass. So this is for the earphone, but earphone only, we control the one and the two. We have earphone three and four, one and two. They both grouped as a stereo output and also the output one, output two. So for all the input and output, we have analog control for the gain or the lever. For example, we if we uh, want to control the output volume, you can see here. So we have the percentage, okay. So we can point to all of the parameters and tune it like this way. So let's take a look at the input one and the input two. Uh, it seems more complicated. So keep in mind that so the input can be also guitar or microphone. So guitar one, you can have the low Z, high Z. And also here, it's very special. We built an analog pedal, uh, a TS9 inside. So this is the TS9 scan. So the minimum is bypass. And also this is the TS9 tone. Let's see how it can change the sound later. And if you put the XLR input, it will automatically shift to this way. Let's do an example. Here is the XLR. So let's try the input two, just to see here. Now it's guitar two, if I plug it. See? Mic two. So the microphone, if you connect a condenser microphone, you have the gain up to 54 dB. And also you have the phantom power. Phantom power on, it turns red. So both the input one and the input two have the same phantom power, so they are on off together. So the phantom power will not affect the guitar input. So if I pull out it back to the guitar, so the default is guitar input. Anytime if you change the position, it will tell you what control you are in. And after you goes inside, it gives all the level it is. Sorry, it's not that clear. So I always got trouble that to short this screen. Actually, this screen is so clear. It's 240 pieces, very clear by eyes. But uh, when I short with a uh, phone, a uh, camera, it always not that clear. And uh, here is the temperature. The temperature gives the inside temperature and also the fan control. Because we don't want the fan always running at the maximum speed because that will cause airflow noise. So fan actually runs based on the temperature. One thing I said before, we need to buy ourselves the third party softwares, but they do have some good free softwares. So the best one of, I think the best one of them is the NAM. This really cool. So with this kind of very simple interface and you can select an NAM model. So there are plenty of them, 6505. And then select the IR file. Now you've got the effects. Let me turn on the guitar. Turn the volume up. <laughs> Let 
let's change another head. It's a clean sound. So I'm not tuning any of those and just uh, have a simple try about different uh, combinations. Okay. So we can turn the gate a little more and then no noise at all. See you on Still, the feeling is very good. So I want to say something special about this audio interface. The, the first one is it has super low noise. I did compare to a lot of audio interface, uh, even very high end. So our audio interface, the noise is very low. And also the input. So we have a very big voltage span. So we, we have a high voltage reel for the input and then make sure the signal, even very big signal in, will not hit the clip. So this is very important for the clean sound. I just randomly select some tone and I think this one is very good. So the saturation is very full and also uh, the picking feeling is so good. And I, I will turn down my volume. So the noise threshold can be lower. Turn on the volume. So the dynamic is very good. Uh, what I'm using is an ST guitar. Oh, this one is good. So this sound that you can see, it's very juicy. So, because no any play reverb is just the core of this tone. So, if you put this VST plugin into another host and you give more delay reverbs, and you can make a very good tone for this. So, the NAM actually sounds so great. Let's take a look at the others. So, the THU, this one is really, the function is really covers everything you, you need. You have all those guitar amplifiers and the cabinets and all the pedals, anything you want. It's function, it's MIDI control, it's full functional and also the audio channel, you can have the one, two, three, everything on the control. Let me introduce this kind of strategy called PC20. So this one, the idea is anytime you send the PC commands and it switch to the bass tone. So let's see, the, here is the PC8 the PC7, the tone 8, but the second time it goes to 18, you can adjust the two and the one is the bass tone and the other one is a high level, maybe more gain, maybe more delay, more reverb or something like that and, uh, and give a boost of your tone. Even the volume bigger, so you can make it like this way. And anytime you switch from a tone to another, it always land to the bass tone. So you see the color is blue is for the bass tone. So actually this is strategy for the PC control. And we made this on the MIDI Captain series and just the configuration and you can change it. You can even change it to each button. You can have three or four tones. So from different levels. So let's take a very short snap on the tones. 
okay. It can also load amplifiers and load the IRs. It could be everything you want. So this is THU. And for MIDI control, I need to see if you change the configuration, you can have other kinds of configure. For example, CC PC, you can control this by, by you can use your PC control and go to next group. And also you can have this four button as the CC control to control the sense A, B, C, D. And you can add it by yourself. Oh, another great uh, software is from Neural DSP. So let me show this. This is the Pliny and uh, it sounds so great. So this is a lead tone. And then this MIDI control, actually, you can assign each button to any of the uh, tone list. I will make a videos about this, how to set up later. But this time we just have a, a brief view about the, what kind of tones it can give out. So it's top level, it's top level multi effects. So here I want to see why I set so this audio interface has very low noise. So, so this is a very good tone, but uh, you can see the, the pre-definition about the gate is minus 60. If you use an hour uh, audio interface, it can go very low. It almost close to the minimal. Still, we have no, I, I, don't, I don't touch the strain and I use a single coil uh, fender. So still there is no noise. But if I strike the strain, it's very big. <laughs> So it means for some other interface, it have to go up here for the gate, but our interface you can run at here.
so now I want to say something about uh, the same we mentioned before about the analog guitar pedal. So, so this is a clean sound. So if we turn the analog on. You can see the difference. Off. On. Even more. It's breaking. So let's try it on another tone, like uh, this crunch sound. So let's make an analog combined digital. Off. Even more. So it makes your tongue warmer and also more saturation and uh, more stick to your hand and the string. Okay, I think that's all for today's video and uh, we may talk more in detail about the software setup and uh, for the for the how to tune in the tones and the MIDI controller setups. Okay, see you next time. So thank you, thank you. And if you like it and uh, you already know the sound and know the audio interface and if you think it's okay, you can place the order now, and uh, I think our link is still alive. And uh, I'm not to make uh, too many inventory now, but uh, still we can accept uh, more orders. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Next time. See you.